This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. Hi, I'm Gideon Gill, Health and Science Editor of the Boston Globe. It's now more than three days since a catastrophic earthquake and tsunami struck Japan, and the nuclear crisis there is getting more serious. There are three reactors that are uh, heavily compromised, and there's concern that the risk of a serious release of radiation uh, could be growing. One of the things that they're most worried about in Japan is that there will be a meltdown in a nuclear reactor. What that means is that the fuel inside the reactor is very hot and it has to be kept cool. Uh, since the quake and tsunami, the cooling systems in uh, uh, at least three of the reactors have been uh, damaged and not working. So they've been attempting to pump seawater into uh, reactors to keep them cool. But this is, they've had uh, mixed success with that. And in fact, in one reactor now, there seems to be real concern that they're having trouble getting any water at all into the reactor. So what happens is, then is that the fuel overheats and, the, and begins to melt. If there's a meltdown, uh, the concern is that radiation could get outside of the nuclear core as well as it would also then have to get outside of a containment facility. Uh, there's a, a second barrier around the uh, nuclear reactors. But if that uh, is penetrated, then there could be a release of radiation. Uh, and the radiation from a nuclear uh, reactor is very, uh, can be very dangerous, particularly for the workers on the scene and for residents in the vicinity. Now, there's been an evacuation uh, of residents from large areas around these reactors, so the Japanese are making efforts to try to minimize uh, the impact. The other uh, positive uh, thing from the perspective of safety is that these uh, reactors are on the uh, coast, the Pacific coast of Japan, and the winds uh, are generally uh, blow out over the ocean. So radiation that is released would uh, seemingly mostly be blown out over the ocean and not affect much of the surrounding population.